Look at this cute little guy. So I just wanted to show you guys up close this little money tree that I made recently. Uh, it all starts with this uh, minifigure costume piece. And unfortunately it has square holes. So you can't exactly just pop it onto studs. That's why I had to put these under here. And I'll show you how this is friction fit in there. So that out and the flower out, it just falls out. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Throwing things everywhere. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that just slides in there and you see it's super loose. There's no actual connection with the pins. That's why I got this other flower here. This helps hold that base in. Gives it a little extra color. And then the rest of it is rods and these hinge pieces. Now, most of this is in the reddish brown, except for the lightsaber hilt, which is dark brown because they don't have it in reddish brown, which is unfortunate, but you do what you got to do. Now that just sits in with the friction fit and you can spin it however you want. It loosens a bit and you got to push it back in. Um, I like the color. It's really nice. Now these clips right here, these ones pretty cheap. These ones, however, You can get them in the dark brown for pretty cheap. But the problem with that is they are the dark brown, which is the old brittle brown, which is uh, discontinued because, like I just said, it's brittle brown. These reddish brown ones are, damn, way more expensive than you'd expect they would be. Um, the cheapest ones I could find were these that I actually bought. For uh, two dollars a piece from Canada, like some of them run up to five, six bucks a piece, and I had to get two of them. So there's four dollars worth of those two clips alone, and it's because those clips in reddish brown are only from one set, I believe. And just goes to show that sometimes a piece you'll never expect to be expensive is going to be way more than you thought it'd be, simply because uh, scarcity. So plan your plan your colors out properly, kids. See ya.